Hi, this is Andy with Condi Systems, and today I'd like to show you how to install the Virtuoso SG400 printer as a sublimation printer on your Macintosh. Now, this is a new printer, so we don't have the drivers on our website, but they will be up shortly. You'll be able to download the driver from our website. Um, I will show you where they will be located. If you go to condi.com, Once there, you'll have to log into PartnerNet, of course, to download anything. But you'll go into Printer Support, and there will be Sawgrass Printers in the list. And from there, you'll just go to the SG400 Printer Drivers Mac. Once you have the drivers, uh, the next thing you'll need will be the ICC profile. Now, the ICC profile will be emailed to you from somebody in support. Once you get the email, just download the attached ICC profile to your desktop, and then from there, we're ready to get everything installed. I'm going to start with installing the ICC pro profile. You want to right click on the profile and select copy. And then in the top, we're going to click on go, go to folder, type in a single forward slash and hit go. From here, I'm going to go into library and then into color sync and then into profiles. And we're just going to click on edit and paste. Uh, it will ask you for your password, just enter your password and, and submit it and you'll see the file has installed into this folder. If we come down to the bottom you see it listed here. Now sometimes there will be a shortcut inside this profiles folder named profiles. If you see this you want to go into there and paste it in here as well. Once we verify that it is there we can close this out and then we are ready to open our graphics software. Now for this demonstration I'm going to be using Adobe Photoshop Elements 9. Oh, I'm sorry, one step I left out we need to do the driver. Let's close this back out. We'll install the driver. going to ask you for your password again. Then it's going to actually install the files onto the Mac. Once you've done this, the next thing to do is to connect the printer to the computer. Once you have it connected, we can verify it's installed by going under printers and you will see it listed as a printer. At the Sawgrass SG400. Alright, once that's installed, we go to Photoshop we need to have a document open so for this I'm just going to open a new blank document and then I'm going to go straight to file and print now from here we want to go since this is elements I want to go into more options I'm going to come down here to color management and I'm going to set Photoshop manages colors and then from here, I'm going to come down and I'm going to look for our ICC profile. All right, here, SG400 Ditrans High Quality. And we want rendering intent to be perceptual. All right, and again, since this is element, I'll, elements, I will hit print and it'll take me to the next screen. Um, on some softwares, there's actually going to be an option down here for printer or setup. It would be that way in Illustrator or in um, Adobe Photoshop. You're going to see a print settings button somewhere around where you select the printer. Um, since this is Elements, I am going to set the printer to the SG400, and I'm going to hit print, and it's going to take me to a second screen going to ignore this print warning since it's just coming up because the margins are different. Now once we're on this screen, the first thing I want to do is I want to check flip horizontally. Then from here, we're going to come down to setup. We're going to set the paper type to inkjet plain paper high quality. And we're going to click on the arrow next to image adjustments. And we're going to set dithering to use error diffusion. Now once we have these set, I'm going to click on 
the presets pull down. Save current settings as preset. And I'm going to name this Condi ICC. Once you do that, you'll just, at this point, you just need to make sure Condi ICC is selected here when you go to print. And I'm going to cancel the print since I don't actually want to print a blank page. At this point, whenever you get ready to print, um, you just make sure you have the color settings on the print dialog set up properly. <clears throat> um, for Photoshop, and Illustrator, in the print dialog, it's going to look a little different. In Photoshop, you're going to have these color management settings that we're seeing here. In the full version of Adobe Photoshop, Adobe Photoshop, they're going to be listed right here where you select the printer. And under Illustrator, you're going to see on the left hand side a list of categories with an option for color management. When you click on that you'll see those options there. Once you have all that done you're actually ready to print. If you have any questions about this or anything else we have at Condi please give us a call at 1-800-826-6332 option 2 for technical support or you can send us an email to support at Thank you.